Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ron, and today we're going to be talking about scouts weapons, particularly their primary weapons, because I recently put up a poll to see what is the most popular scout primary weapon, at least according to you guys. There was a large amount of votes for this particular poll, and these are the results. So, out of scouts primary weapons, the most picked by 40% is the M1000 Classic, followed by a very close second from the GK2 at 38%, and then the Drac coming in third, but still at a respectable 22%. This is rather interesting because when I originally held these polls for each of the weapons for each of the classes, GK2 by far got the least amount of votes. It was not even close to the other two. I think the M1000 was close to 50% on that run, and then the Drac was somewhere at like 35 or 37% or something like that, and the GK2 was struggling to get to 10%. Since Season 3, though, the GK2 has been buffed pretty significantly, even though most of its buffs have seemed very minor. Um, and honestly, it only needed a few minor buffs to make it competitive with the other options. At that time, from Season 2 to Season 3, the GK2 really wasn't in a great spot compared to the other two weapons. It wasn't ever a bad weapon by any means, it was still decent, but it was a overall less useful option because it didn't have as much damage as it does now, um, it didn't have the rate of fire it does now, it didn't have the mods that it does now, and it didn't have the magazine size that it does now, just for the base GK2, no modifications, no overclocks or anything. Its overclocks also got changed, some of them more significantly than others. AI Stability Engine got a really big buff compared to what it was. Now it is a, an extremely strong overclock. It was already pretty good before, but it has gotten far better, as well as things like uh, Bullets of Mercy got buffed just with its burst damage, but kind of got nerfed in its overall ammo. So mostly unchanged, but a slight buff just because the gun got buffed. And Electrifying Reload got changed to the way that it just functions. It's a whole lot better now to where you can actually use it far more often than you used to. Aside from that, all of the rest of the overclocks for the GK2 have also gotten buffed inadvertently just from the GK2 itself being buffed. So Homebrew Powder got better, Gas Rerouting got better, Trying to remember the other clean one's name. All the clean ones got buffed, all the balanced ones got buffed, and all the unstable ones got buffed. So it was all around a big buff to the GK2. This did result in some people playing the Drac less, but I think the Drac still has a very good spot in Scout's arsenal. It is by far your best option for just crowd control in general, at least for smaller enemies. It clears up swarmers the best out of any of your weapons. It still does very well against grunts, and it can do really well against big things too with certain overclocks. You could take thermal exhaust feedback, or you could take overtune particle accelerator, and still have a do just about every job, as well as the Drac has some of the most unique overclocks for the primary weapons in general. Most of the GK2 and the M1000 uh, overclocks don't change them a whole lot. They still have the same kind of basic function for them. The Drac has all sorts of different overclocks that change it up immensely. So I personally think it's still a very fun option and a very just good option in general for general purpose use. The M1000, I'm a little bit surprised actually is still winning in here. I know how many people love the M1000 and uh, this has been kind of fluctuating back and forth between the GK2 and the M1000, which is kind of what I was expecting. I was expecting them to be very close and the drag to be a third, but they're all fairly close to one another. M1000 still has Hipster, which is probably Scout's best primary overclock just overall because you can spam fire the gun so much and you hold so many bullets. So it's just a super nice comfort option, so long as you're okay with just constantly spam clicking <laughs> wherever you see enemies. If you don't like that, then the M1000 is probably not going to be your favorite weapon in general. Um, you don't spam click it a whole bunch, but more so than like the GK2 or the Drac. So there is that. There was also the upgrade to uh, Super Cooling Chamber. It also got buffed between seasons two and three, which makes it now actually a pretty usable overclock. Before it was kind of considered a meme, it could work on certain mission types, it could still work on eliminations really well, and it could work if your team was already pretty ammo efficient slash really good at crowd control in general. Like if you had a really good driller or really good gunner set up for just all crowd control and that was like their main primary objective, then it could be used. But those were kind of the only situations and there wasn't a whole lot of people bringing it in into just random lobbies at any given time because if you are the last one standing, super cooling chamber with scout is kind of rough unless you by some miracle only have like praetorians left to fight or something so that could also explain why the m1000 is still in the lead it also makes the pinging noise so that probably at least scored it one percent if not more but yeah it's really cool to see how scouts 
primary weapons have gotten a lot more love than they did previously. So I'm curious, tell me what your favorite thing is about each of these weapons, assuming you use them all, or which weapon of these is your favorite and why that is, or particular overclocks that you like running with it, or maybe even a complete loadout that you really like running with it, because all of these can be built in pretty flexible ways. I can think of several ways to build all of them for just about any type of mission. And they also pair really well with pretty much all the secondaries too, at least built for complementing these primaries. So thanks everybody for voting for these polls. Be on the lookout for them. I'm going to be putting up more of them just kind of whenever I feel like it or whenever I remember to put them up. And again, thank you for your participation. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.